Now, all of us are not blessed to have a fur coat like this young lady. So I'm gonna winterize the coop using this tarp, these pine shavings, premium pine, and of course, my favorite drill. Stay tuned. All right, so first we're gonna clean out the coop, scrape up all the poop and debris and anything else they done messed up in there. I'm gonna clean out the egg boxes as well and uh, just dump everything and some more compost heap since all of this stuff is biodegradable. Shout out to Eaton Pastor for the hemp baby. Now I'm gonna switch that out and use some premium pine, some thick shavings in the bottom of the nesting area as well as the nesting boxes. I'm gonna spread that out and I'm gonna do the same thing in the run. This is a nine by 18 coop built by Chicken Partners. I was able to use five bags or five bales of the premium shavings. Next, I'm gonna cover three sides of the coop with blue tarp. That'll keep the wind from gusting through and keep them a little warmer. Let me speed that up as soon as I get this bag open. Here we go. So I'm gonna use wood screws and my handy dandy drill to hang this tarp up, blue tarp up around it. I didn't pre-fold it, which I should have done, so I had to make up for it and fold the access up. This time I'm gonna do a little bit better job and pre-fold it and then hang it. So this way no water gets trapped inside of it. If you can't tell, I really love drilling stuff. Giggity. And here's the finished product. All the tarped up on three sides of it, or three and a half sides of it. And it's still open in the front for sunlight. Here's the inside. What's up, ladies? You can see that deep bedding. And the only thing we're missing, because they're gonna dig holes, as you can kind of see right there, is we're gonna have to add a little dust bath area. Nice clean nest boxes, and of course, a spot for the babies and the baby mama. Thanks for watching, guys. Blackyard chickens.